Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So, we have the Canon SX50 unboxed. I don't typically do an unboxing because as soon as I come home, I pop the box, grab the battery, throw it in the charger and get her going so that I can start looking at the camera. Now, that said, I haven't looked at the camera yet. So, um, what I will say is uh, I was very nicely boxed. Good can unboxing, lots of uh, padded cardboard in there. Um, and we've got a strap that came with it. Um, battery, the charger, and uh, the charger is one of the ones that has the uh, flip out prongs on it. So um, that's a bonus. I, I don't like the chargers anymore that come with the, pl uh, the cord that you have to plug in. It's a pain in the butt. This one's great for travel. So um, camera came wrapped in some nice, um, styrofoam uh, bag wrapping there um, which keeps it nice and protected and of course we had the um, Canon warranty the uh, the digital uh, disc with our digital software if you use that stuff and uh, of course our little our little manual there for the camera so um, initial impressions which is what this video is about is that um, this is a really nice little camera um, not that little it actually feels about the size of my Canon T2i when I had it. So, um, you know, the size of a small DSLR um, with a smaller lens on it. Um, that said, this camera is a 50 times lens. So this takes you from 24 millimeter to 1200 millimeter uh, equivalent 35 millimeter field of view. So um, still much, much smaller than if you were able to get a 1200 millimeter lens on a 35 millimeter camera. Uh, the build quality on this feels really nice, uh, really uh, nice uh, feel, texture to the to the polycarbonate resin, the plastic. Um, basically, it feels in the hand um, as nice, as solid as a DSLR, like the Canon T2i or the newer Canon T4i. Um, and what I really like about this camera is the, um, the flip-out screen here. So that allows you to, uh, it's great if you're shooting low and if you're shooting video, which this does do 1080 video. Um, so it's a nice, nice little camera all in all. Um, good feel to it. The buttons feel solid. Let's throw the battery in it here. And we'll see how, uh, how the zoom goes. I didn't grab a card. I think I left it downstairs. So um, we'll turn the power on here. And uh, so you can see that the, the lens extends that much there. So you turn it off, there's the lens closed, and then we turn it on, and that's how much it extends just to get started. And then, as far as extension goes for the, the zoom, we are going to zoom out. First of all, I'm gonna pop the, uh, the side here so I can see what's going on. There we go. That's as much as it extends to 1200 millimeter, the full extension. So that's still a very small compact camera when you consider that that's the equivalent of a 1200 millimeter lens on 35 millimeter full frame. So even when we back it off to, um, let's see here, this is about 200 here, not much of an extension. It actually looks pretty good. Um, that's 600 millimeter and that's 1200 millimeter, so pretty small. Uh, lens in that sense um, to get you to 1200 millimeter the um, there's our pop-up flash doesn't uh, doesn't really it's not that big so that'll be something I want to see is uh, is how well it works typically I don't use pop-up flashes but if you can use your hand or something or direct them somehow into the ceiling just use them as a little fill sometimes that's not too bad the um, let's see here Seems to be focusing pretty quickly. The uh, image on the LCD looks quite good. Um, and I don't think that this LCD, I can't remember the specs on this LCD, but I don't think it's up to like a 1 million dot type LCD that you'd see on a DSLR. Uh, but it still seems to look really good. And then when we look into the, um, the viewfinder up here, still getting used to this. So I gotta switch that, I gotta switch that off and focus here with the viewfinder. And, uh, this is a lower resolution viewfinder. It's fairly small, but you know what? The picture looks pretty clear. Um, I'm not having any trouble 
um, focusing on things with that. Probably a lot of my problem here with the speed of focus at the moment is that I have this set at 1200 millimeters. No, actually the, the viewfinder in there looks good. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So um, overall, initial impressions are quite favorable. Um, solid build, nice operation, smooth on the zoom here. That seems quite nice. Um, I really like the, uh, the revolving LCD. All the buttons seem solid and well placed. And um, we've got the, uh, of course, the um, tripod hole in the bottom. Uh, this camera takes the uh, NBL, NB10L, I believe it is. Um, so those have been around for a bit and they're readily available. You can get them off eBay for dirt cheap. So that's a nice bonus too, is you don't have to go spending uh, you know, a horrendous amount of money on an extra battery. Um, these I believe list at the SX50 is uh, $499. Now, I got this on sale for $389 at Staples Business Depot, so that's not a bad deal at all. Um, and I know they've been going on and off around that price, so if you watch, you should be able to get one. Um, you know, that's where I got mine, um, so I can't tell you where else at the moment they're on sale, but keep an eye out because I know they do go on sale. I've even seen them, I think, as low as $369. So um, Staples, Best Buy, Future Shop in Canada here, um, look at B&H, various stores, Amazon, of course, and um, I'll, have a link, I'll put a link below for the SX50 on Amazon. You can check the best price out there, and um, if you do end up buying it, that helps us support uh, Art of the Image here, so that's great. So um, that's the uh, uh, SX50 unboxed. I'm really looking uh, forward to using it. I'm heading off to Las Vegas on a uh, guy's trip. Uh, my brother's organized. 16 of us are heading out, so uh, a lot of rompous fun and uh, and untold stories to be had. Um, so that's coming with me. I plan on uh, one of the days there is a free day, so I'm going to take a rental car up to the uh, dam, the Hoover Dam, and out to the Grand Canyon. And I thought, what better camera? That's why I bought this. It was kind of in a rush. I was glad it went on sale before I leave for Vegas because it gives me that 24 wide, which is great. And it gives me that uh, 1200 millimeter long and all in a nice little package. So that'll be great to throw in my carry-on and um, I'll have some images for you from Las Vegas when I get back. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new articles, some new uh, video posts, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.